I want to show you guys a really cool trick here at the table saw for making repeated accurate cross cuts. We don't need to build anything. It's not a jig or anything like that. All we honestly need is a couple pieces of plywood or scrap material and double side tape. If you don't have double side tape, definitely do yourself a favor and get some. I use it in every single project. So if you don't have double side tape, this probably isn't going to work for you, but you might find it entertaining regardless. If I want to make a whole bunch of pieces, that are two inches. I can set my fence to two inches, but I have a problem. You never want to use the miter fence with the rip fence at the same time. This is going to cause a pinch point. It's going to bind in here and it's going to kick, kick back at you. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So how do we get around that? What you'll see some people do, some people will take a piece of plywood like this and they will fasten it here somehow to their fence. And what this will do is give you a little bit of a relief. So you're using this as an auxiliary fence so that you register off of this instead of off the regular fence. And now when you go to cut, you have a little relief in there for your piece to kind of dance around. It's not really enough space though, and especially depending on how long this is. These pieces can turn and twist in here and as soon as one catches the blade, it's coming back out at you. The other problem is, as you can see, we're no longer at two inches because I have the auxiliary fence. So now I'm stuck with measuring and marking and testing. And if I need to adjust, I have to kind of do one of the old tap back and forth routines. It's not one that I particularly care for. Another one that I see people do, which I think is actually kind of neat, is they'll make an L block. This is kind of cool because with this L block, the way I made this, and I just made this up now, I don't usually do this, but this is four inches from the base get this out of here so you can see it. The base to the edge here is four inches. So again, if I wanted to cut a two inch piece, I would add two inches to four inches. I can set this to six inches. And now use that to register. This is cut to two inches and I have a lot more space in here. I am still feeling a little bit crowded and of course it depends on how much you have to do. I don't like this way either. This is the easiest, quickest way to do this that you'll probably ever see. We need a couple of blocks here. Just a nice little chunk of plywood. I have another chunk here. It doesn't matter what size they are necessarily. I'm gonna set this back to two inches because those are the size pieces that I wanted to cut. I'm gonna take this block here, make sure it doesn't have any debris on it. I'm gonna take a small piece of tape, just like that. I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to lay it right up against my fence. I'm going to put some downward pressure on it so it stays still. I'm going to get my fence out of the way. I'm just going to butt this piece up, tape side down, right next to it. And put a little pressure on there to make sure that it's solid. And now that is set to exactly two inches. Why? because that's exactly where my fence used to be. So I'm using the fence itself to tell me where that measurement needed to land, just like I would have done in the very beginning. Now, this block works for me all the time. I realized now that I could upgrade it a little bit. So that's what I've done. What I have here is a piece of oak. I've made it out of oak instead of usually grabbing a piece of plywood, simply because this one I want to last. I have a recessed screw right here. So this screw can back in or out and it's actually recessed below the surface here. So this block by itself with the screw all the way tightened up is nice and flat and smooth. There's nothing sticking out or anything like that. I don't have to worry about it. What I'm gonna do is put a piece of tape on here. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna set this to two inches. Put this up against here, put some weight down on it. I'm gonna put the screw side facing the saw blade. I'm gonna push down on that. So now we're nice and tight. And now I have this perfectly at two inches. The screw doesn't get in the way. But what the screw does let me do is back this out just a little bit if I need to micro adjust. So this would have been two inches. This is tighter a little bit towards the blade. So this is gonna let me micro adjust that and fine tune it. So now I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to worry about anything. And 
usually they'll come right off with this. You just got to pull the tape off. You're good to go. The reason I have the magnet is I can stick it right under my saw. I always know where it is. I don't have to worry about it. That's all there is to it.